Hey everyone, I'm Cosmic and welcome to the cloud. In general, most people seem to consider the maps to be the worst part about Splatoon 3. In the previous two games, the maps weren't perfect, but in addition to having more space and more options than Splatoon 3's maps, they all felt distinct from one another. Unique gimmicks, geometry, and locations made these maps stand apart. Specific sections of maps presented new gameplay dynamics, like the Overlook Wall and Mori Towers, the propeller lifts on Anchovy Games, the tall walls and wide paths on Flounder Heights, and the moving walls of Museum de Alfonsino. These maps had locations that you could remember, that each came with their own approach to Splatoon's mechanics and allowed for interesting strategies. Some stages even encouraged the use of certain gear abilities or weapon types, adding more diversity to each rotation. Importantly, they all encouraged player expression. When there's more than one way to tackle a problem, when there's room for creativity and improvisation, Splatoon's gameplay is at its best. This is why the limiting nature of Splatoon 3's maps is so unfortunate. There aren't really memorable spots to take advantage of on most stages, and if there are, you can barely interact with them. Each battle feels a lot more similar, and you can often find yourself basically jumping back into the exact same places. Creativity is limited, and so is fun. But there may be hope. One of the saddest examples of Splatoon 3's map design philosophy is Mahi Mahi Resort, a map that, in Splatoon 1, was praised for its many routes, its unique water level gimmick that added even more options partway through a game, and key locations that led to fun interactions. Splatoon 3 removed almost all of that. The water level change is preserved, but much less impactful. The islands that once served as a practical route into and around the map were made pretty much obsolete. The long hallway out of spawn that also served as high ground was all but removed, and the flank route around the enemy snipe was entirely missing. Until now. Mahi Mahi Resort is the first map in the third game to receive a revision, and while it's still nowhere near Splatoon 1 Mahi, the changes they decided to go with actually give me a lot of hope for the future. Not only do these changes add more options and ways to approach mid, but they specifically brought back some of the key locations from the old version of the map. A new island makes the side route a lot more practical, and the snipe area has the flank. Hey, Future Cosmic here. Um, this is actually not a flank route, which I'm pretty disappointed about. The other changes are still really good though, and everything else I say is true, but yeah, unfortunate. This version of the map is still not perfect, far from it. But to me, this is a sign from the developers that they understand, on some level, what made the old map so great. Unique geometry that allows for player expression. While there are still a lot of other maps that could use reworks, many of them much harder to save than Mahi, this has given me a lot of hope for the future of map revisions and brand new map designs. Following the pretty good design of Crab Leg Capital and Ship Ship Cargo Co., we might be seeing an upward trend of fun maps to play on. But for now, let's put Mahi Mahi to the test by playing some games. Alright, here we go. Wow, okay. That's actually, that's a totally different, like, angle with the camera, I think. Um... Definitely right away I could see there were, um, the new island was there, and that looks like way more of like an actual path. Oh, the spawn is huge! Okay, this is really, really cool to see. Okay, yeah, and here, here's this flank art. Oh yeah, that ink rail, I believe, is added in all modes. Um, oh, okay, so I think the flank only exists when the water goes up. That's, that's interesting, but this, I mean, this snipe feels a lot better. Oh, and there's, you can jump, wait, okay, that's cool. Oh, this feels so much bigger, actually. I know some people were worried about, um... Some some terrain was actually removed here. Oh my god, I just fell in the water. <laughs> but um, th no, the map feels a lot bigger. Oh, that feels... Dude, this is cool. Th this actually feels like already so much better than how it was before. Um, also, I'm going in with the 96 Deco because Kraken got a pretty insane buff. The, um, the normal swim speed is actually now like basically as fast. Oh, the great there. It, it's, um, yeah, but Kraken moves as fast as a normal squid um basically with even without doing the charge dude this is such a good like <laughs> i don't know something about the way this feels uh just the proximity of the, all these islands like this feels like an actual spot you can like play around now this feels a little bit like the splatoon 1 version like the that island is like an actual like you have a reason to go there now oh this is this is really cool Th this is like better than i thought I, I really want the um the water level to go down so i can try out that flank um please survive this okay here maybe if there's a good time I can go in with this Kraken. Now, let me try and go around. So, I still will charge in probably. Yeah, yeah, you're way faster just moving like this normally. Okay, yeah, so I, I think it was, um, they said they did that to kind of incentivize you to, you know, now using the charge or using the normal jump attack is, is kind of more of an option before you would kind of just spam the charge. Um, and oh no, is this not actually a flank? Hold on. <laughs> I thought this would be a real flank route. Okay. Well, that's a little... that's kind of disappointing. I still really like how much space is here. Like, it, it feels... 
weirdly, like, a lot more like the Splatoon 1 version, just with that little bit of extra terrain on the side. I was really hoping that would be a flank route, though. I mean, from the, the design thing, it totally looked like it was. Oh, okay, well, that's, um... That's interesting. I wonder if it is in Turf War? Or maybe if, maybe I just looked at it wrong. I don't know. That's that's interesting. It, it totally looked to me like there was going to be a thing there, but maybe I was just looking at, like, the great part? I'm not sure. Um, oh... I really, really like these changes, though. Like, I just going over here... Like, you, you have all this, you know, turf you can paint, but then... Like, this wasn't here before, right? I, I think this whole spot is new, and this is like... Oh, yeah, you can wrap all the way around this spot! Like, this entire section here just did not exist. And now this is, like, totally, like, an actual way... Oh my god, it's, like, so much easier, there's so much cover, that you're not just gonna get locked out, like, by an E-leader the whole game. This is this makes the map so much more fun to play on. This is insane. I, I really want to check out the other modes, too. Like, I obviously, um... If you couldn't tell from me reacting to everything live, I did not recon this ahead of time, but in the patch notes they said they made changes to every game mode, um, and all the other game modes in Mahi Mahi were like a lot different than the Zones and Turf War versions, and they were kind of a lot worse, so I'm hoping that it's more like this in the other modes. I'm not sure though, but uh, I, I'm really sad that that flank isn't actually there. I'm, I'm really sad about that, I'll be honest, but like everything else is pretty great. Like, why Why is this not just, like, an inkable path? Okay, maybe I should stop running at it, because it still is the snipe. Oh, this is so much better, though. Like, lo look at that map. That's not, you know, it's still vaguely Tetra-shaped, but, like, not really. I mean, that middle is, like, its its whole own thing. This is <laughs> might be one of my favorite maps in the game now, like, because it feels like Splatoon 1 Mahi in a lot of ways. Uh, I, I would like to try to actually win. I've barely been paying attention to the score. Um, it would be nice to get some more cracking kills, too, maybe. So... Oh, you can ink the side of that! That's new! You used to be able to, like, wall jump up there, but now you can... I I'm actually... I'm fine with that. Like, making this more accessible is a good thing, I think. I, I think these were a lot taller in Splatoon 1, so these still kind of feel... Like, that That block feels... normal, but it feels like Splatoon 3 design, but it, it doesn't... You know, it's not bad. Like, at least it's inkable on these sides, and... Um, oh, and it's cover from the Trizuka, which did get nerfed a little bit. Um... Not as much as maybe some people would hope, but I, I like using Trizuka, so I don't mind that too much. Uh, might be able to get the lead here, because their sniper is distracted. That would be nice. There we go, okay. And this is a good beacon placement now, because we can actually use this part of the map. Uh, oh, oh, okay, hold on. Keep this capped for the end of the game. Oh, taken out by that Hydra, which also got buffed. Uh, d decent amount of buffs in this patch. Yeah, okay, well, that was a good game. Here we go again. Hopefully I can uh, focus a little bit more on the actual game this time instead of just freaking out about the map. But dude, it, it really just does feel like Splatoon 1 again. Like, I always just get this, like, rush whenever we get new Splatoon content. And when that Splatoon content feels like Splatoon 1 content, uh, it, it is especially good. And uh, man, just this spawn even just feels so much better. Like, like, look, there's like, you can actually use this high ground now. Like, there's a reason to go here. Even, like, I really like this great. I think... I feel like that existed in Splatoon 1, and they just took it out for no reason. Like, I don't, that wasn't there. I don't think that was there until this patch, and I don't know why, because it, it's... Whoa. It's very nice to have it. Um, thank you, teammate, for saving me there. Oh, my God. Okay, let's get this cracking. Oh, wow. We're all, we're all popping specials at the same time. Maybe I'll just, like, paint the zone a little bit. Um, maybe... No, oh, if, that, if that wasn't unnickable ground, I would not have been slowed down. I got two kills there? Okay. Thank you, 96 RNG. That jump is... Oh, that jump is fun. Wait, you couldn't do that. That wasn't a jump, right? You had to, like, drop and climb now? Or before? Then now you can do that? Okay, I stumbled over my words, but you know what I mean. It's... it's God, it's just fun. It's just a good... It's a good time. I mean, this map was already, like, okay on zones. At least much better than it was on its other modes. Oh, my God. But this, this is genuinely so fun now. Like, this is... This is so good. <laughs> I, I really, really love this, in case you cannot tell. Uh, I also love the Kraken buff. Being able to, um, catch up to people way more easily is very cool. I think people definitely aren't used to it yet. Um, I actually got, I got a few, uh, ship -shaped games in between, uh, this game and the last one, and, yeah, people definitely forget that, <laughs> you know, the swim speed is, I mean, maybe some people don't read the patch notes, but, uh, it, it was very easy to just swim straight at people, and they did not expect me to be as fast as I was. Uh, they are popping, they are Ultra Stamp and Kraken now, uh, but we all got all this turf, Unlocked. Oh, this is... Dude, I, I love how far back this goes. Like, this 
Oh my god, don't die, don't die. <laughs> well, it wasn't enough space for me, I guess, but uh, that just makes the map so much better to play on. I mean, it felt so small before. Like, it, it felt like something was missing there. So I'm I'm just really glad it's finally there. It's, it's back. I mean, it was there in Splatoon 1, and they took it away. <laughs> they put it back. Remember when I said I was going to focus on the actual game? Okay, here we go. Going to pop this crack in behind my wall. Oh my god, Pearly Bob almost got me there. Unfortunately, they got the lead. wonder if I can just kind of pick up. Oh, no, no, no. I was about to release my charge, but uh, my time ran out. That's unfortunate. They got another Kraken. Okay. Uh, might be kind of tricky to take this zone back right now because they're using specials. I really, really do want to check out the other modes. I think after this, I'm going to do some recon uh, just to look at them. I, I don't know if they're going to be changed this dramatically, but I really hope they at least add that terrain on the edges because that'll just make them so much more playable. Um... Really want to build this Kraken. I have the Kraken. We have the zone. Okay. Probably going to want to paint ahead a little bit. I don't want to pop this too early. Uh, I don't want to be able to surprise people with it instead of just running straight at them all the way for mid. But just going to work together with my team, I guess, to kind of wall them out here for a second. Maybe hang on to the Kraken. Oh, they changed this a little bit, too. This wasn't like a... It looks like a Tetris piece now. <laughs> well, actually, oh god. Uh, I don't think it was that Z-shape before. I think it was just like a block. I, I kind of like that. It you know, gives a little more space... Uh, it's just cool. I know it's just a little unique thing to navigate around. I'm gonna counter this guy's Kraken with my Kraken, because I am very scared that would not end favorably for me otherwise. Uh, does it climb walls faster? I'm not sure about that. It, that felt fast. Um, that guy just ran on my wall. Uh, wow, speaking of fast, what is that build? Yeah, it might be kind of tricky to take the zone here, but I can go all the way to the right now. I mean, it's not like a flank route, but it's... I mean, it's something. It's, you know, I can still move around them and I'm just running straight into a pit with an E-leader aiming at me. Uh, oh god. Okay, that's an unfortunate death. My wiper is surprisingly still alive, but yeah, okay, not anymore. Um, that beacon is very concerning, but I don't know. Could you always make that jump? I don't know if that's new, but that feels good. Oh my god. Uh, really? I, I thought for sure I was going to be able to get that guy before he got me. Okay, uh, luckily we've been just chipping down their, or they've been chipping down their penalty, so... We should be able to maybe grab this here. Only one of their guys went down. I heard the Kraken somewhere. Uh, there he is. Um, wait this out. Maybe I can take him out at the end. Still kind of too far away. Jeez. Not getting a lot of kills this game. I, I'm just kind of overwhelmed by um, just all the cool movement and new options I have on the map. I mean, <laughs> I'm just going in a very wide circle around the enemy, and that, that's exciting enough for me right now, because that was not an option before. But here, I got my Kraken. Uh, we are actually very close to lead. Okay, hang on. This is very, very doable. I'm going to Kraken on the zone just to protect it. Um, oh, shoot. They did get it. Um, okay, got a kill there. Got another kill there. I know that, um, other guys around. Oh, shoot. Okay. We lost that one, but you know what? I still had fun. Okay, now what I'm very interested in doing is seeing what this looks like on the other modes. So I guess we'll check out tower control first. I wonder if it will still have that like weird kind of water trench through mid. I sort of would not mind if they got rid of that. But at the very least, like I said, I just really hope they add that extra terrain on the edges. Um, ooh, which they have. Okay, hang on. Okay, so the trench is still there. I don't really mind that um, because once again, this is an actual like route you can take now this is actually um so there's not the block of cover there but there's this thing <laughs> which is interesting yeah this has all been shifted a little bit because of how they changed the spawn oh it's actually a bridge in the oh oh hold on i like this better oh okay they did change this this checkpoint is still like right next to mid i know people make fun of this checkpoint because it's like you're barely moving the tower at all but at least they changed the water a little bit and i like this i personally like this a lot better um, it's still a little weird how different it is from the normal version, like there's the whole snipe thing here is just like gone. Let me go ahead and ride this so that we can see what it looks like with the water level changed. Okay, there we go. Um, right, okay, so this thing still raises up. This is, yeah, this whole thing is a lot thicker than before. I mean, this is interesting, like this is just kind of a whole different thing than the normal map, which is still kind of weird, but like... I don't think it's necessarily bad. I kind of wish the cover was just like the normal thing instead of this weird floating balloon thing. Um, oh, but this block is cool. I don't think that was there before. That Okay, so there's like, yeah, a way to get up here. Um, you can maybe like use like a, a charger or something. Was this guy always here? 
I feel like that was probably always there, but I never noticed that before. Anyway, I'm not really sure how other people are going to feel about this, but like, I think it's definitely an improvement. This is actually a diagonal, which is a little weird, but um, yeah, I mean like, like this again was just not a position that existed before. And the fact that you can kind of, you know, I guess you, you could wrap around as the defending team from this point and make this jump. I mean, there's, yeah, there's like a lot more cool movement now. So overall, I, I think I like this. Definitely better than before. I'm very interested in Rainmaker. Oh, did they get rid of the ramp things? Oh, no, they didn't. Okay, I kind of, I kind of was hoping they would. Oh, but this is better. This is better. I, I don't have like a direct comparison. Oh, there's like a wall here now? Okay, I mean... You know, you can jump over here. I, I like that they're incorporating the islands. Like, that's kind of the big takeaway, is like, there's space on the edges and the islands actually have a purpose again, which, you know, is just the fun thing about Mahi Mahi is jumping between the islands. So I'm glad that they're giving them an actual role now. The problem with Mahi Rainmaker is that it was just super easy to like, have like a 30 second game where you just like push in and win instantly. And I mean, that will be fixed a little bit with this better spawn. Cause like defending will be a lot better but there's still kind of this weird point where there's like high ground for the attackers here i like this route though this where you get this checkpoint and then have to kind of weave in between here that's pretty cool that's not how that was before and definitely just having more space in the mid rainmaker was like super super cramped before um so especially if we go ahead and get one of these checkpoints i mean you know the problem before is you would just take it from the checkpoint straight to the goal which like is still pretty close oh right so okay so this lowers oh I actually think it did something like that before, and I just kind of forgot, but, um, yeah, no, this, this is a lot better then, uh, because defenders have all that high ground, you know, they can wrap all the way around here, like, this is way more of a actual place to go, and again, you could go to the islands from there, and then in mid, unfortunately, this, you know, terrain is still kind of not really here, um, but now you can go up this way, which is a thing, I'm really sure that's not inkable on that side, that feels a little weird, oh, it's not inkable on either side? Okay, I don't love that, I mean, obviously you can just hop it, but, like, that's just kind of weird. This block is still here, that's good. Okay, so th this one's decent. I still think zones is like definitely the strongest mode, but all of them are for sure better than they were before. This one, like, pretty significantly. The only thing I'm sad about is like in Splatoon 1, jumping across the islands was a Rainmaker route, and like, technically, yeah, you could grab it, and I guess that could be a thing. Like you go on the block and go up here and then dunk it on the checkpoint. Yeah, maybe that's kind of a thing. I, that wasn't a thing that was possible before and now it's maybe something you could do, but like also you could just swim it right there. It's just if like the enemies are like suppressing it, I guess, but you know, it's something. I still feel like there's gonna be lots of like 30 second games on this, but again, better than before. And lastly, Clan Blitz. Um, let's see, this is it kind of has the similar thing to Rainmaker with the ramp there. That's interesting. Um, wow, this feels so open, though. Look at this. Oh, they have the ramps. Were the ramps always here in Clan Blitz? Yeah, I think they were. I'm going to be real. I have not played a lot of Mahi Clan Blitz. I mean, I like how open this feels. Like, again, it just feels so much bigger. I almost am scared this part is, like, a little too open. Like, this still feels very much like, you know, if there's an E-litter there and I'm trying to get anywhere within this space, like... That's gonna be kind of tricky, but let's see what it looks like with the water level down. Okay, so this opens up. Um, I mean, this is kind of a whole new dynamic where you can actually go on the other side of this ramp. This wall feels awkward to me. Like, it's unique, so I guess I should appreciate it for that, but it's like, I don't know, I mean, you can squid roll on it, so that's cool. And once again, this actually becomes a route now where you can kind of go from mid on the island over here. Like, it's a lot more condensed than like a Splatoon 3 route, but like, it still is, you know, it's a very different option than going from that ramp, and you know, then there's this block here that's kind of like a middle route. I mean, they're very similar. But yeah, I think, uh, like I said, zones is definitely the best mode on it. It already was, and now it's, you know, by far just like a lot more fun than it was before. It legitimately feels a little bit like playing the Splatoon 1 version, and the other modes are all better. Uh, pretty significantly. I mean, it might, you know, we'll see. Only time will tell, like, actually playing games on them. Um, but I think the general perception of Mahi, like, that's not even a Tetris block anymore, you know? Like, I, I think people are gonna like the map a lot more now. Um, not quite so much a shell of its Splatoon 1 self. I mean, this is basically just something entirely different. Uh, Zones is a little bit similar. Uh, you know, like, it's definitely some of the identity is still there. I mean, th this is basically just a different map at this point, but it's, 
a better map than it was before the patch. Thank you, Splatoon developers. I think that's where I'm going to call today. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the Mahi changes. If you're a Splatoon 1 veteran, do you agree that it feels remotely like Splatoon 1 or is it at least still fun to play on? And hopefully if you're a new Splatoon 3 player, you got to have a little taste of what an actually decently sized map feels like. I mean, this still isn't the biggest map in the game, probably, but it's just so much better than it was before. But that's it for now. So thanks for watching. This has been Cosmic. Farewell.